Hi, I'm Edwin Street. There are many places in Geelong where you can enjoy a beautiful glass of wine. The wine industry in this region is producing some excellent drops. There are also many old beautiful buildings too here that have withstood the passing of progress. This is a story about one of those buildings, only this building was not so lucky. It was in this spot in the late 1800s that a wine merchant named Charles Cole built his bluestone warehouse, where his business prospered. In the 1870s, there were over 100 vineyards around Geelong. Money brought to the region by wine production and the gold rush led to the creation of many fabulous historical buildings. Towards the end of the 1870s, a tiny aphid known scientifically as Phylloxera vastatrix spelled the death of the region's vineyards. As a result, wine was not grown or produced in Geelong for another 80 years. During this time though, Chaz Cole continued to trade and his bluestone warehouse basically guarded his reds, whites and aromatic fortifieds. The passerby often rewarded with a heady smell of oak and alcohol. Meanwhile, the wine production industry around dried up. Bar trouble was brewing for the fated building. The 1960s and 70s had little respect for heritage and in 1973 progress was to intervene. Geelong City Council bought the site and had it earmarked for development. Demolition was imminent. The site was to become the trouble ridden Civic Centre car park. In an 11th hour battle between the 500 members of the Geelong Historical Society and the Council, a reprieve of sorts was won by an enterprising Hungarian-born Presbyterian cleric, the Reverend Stephen Sasty. Sasty gained a concession from the City Council to purchase the lower floor of the Bluestones in order to rebuild the premises as a cultural centre in Batesford. Patiently he numbered every stone of the lower floor so that the rebuilding could proceed with relative ease. Five truckloads of stone were carted away and the Historical Society proudly donated $50 to start the rebuilding fund. Things were looking up for the Chaz Cole building. I travelled back to my hometown To catch up with old friends Take a look around I'm changing my perspective For the years have gone so fast I'm searching for a future On a journey through the past I left the past behind In my hometown To live a brand new life That I had newly found now I'm feeling like a stranger in the land that was my home That's the price you pay for leaving all you've known Turning back the pages to where my life has been To people I have known and places I have seen I'm winding back the ages all through my plans and schemes I'm turning back the pages trying to find a dream Sadly, 34 years on, the building has never been reconstructed. Reverend Sasty spent much of his time raising funds for the project, but his efforts bore little fruit. And the stones, which once languished in a paddock somewhere here in Batesford, are rumoured to have disappeared.
Today I set out to see if I could find any remains of the blocks after 34 years. Armed with some information from the Historical Society and an article from the 1987 Geelong Addy, I knew that the blocks had to be dumped somewhere here, near the Presbyterian Church itself an impressive pile of bluestone. I'm here at the Presbyterian Churchyard at Batesford, but after some searching, it appears completely bluestone blockless. If I compare the house in the picture from the article with that house today, which is just over there, I can see that the blocks were once located in that paddock behind me. You can see that there has been a lot of backfill here where the rocks must once have been. Certainly, they aren't in the paddock anymore. It seems that what has ever happened to those rocks remains a mystery. I asked some of the locals around here. Some suggest they'd been stolen. Others suggest they'd been sold to make houses. Either way, it appears that Sasti's dream, like the bouquet of a wine too long opened, has long disappeared. Today's search has been fruitless. Until next time, I'm Edwin Street. Cheers. I'm winding back the ages all through my plans and schemes. I'm turning back the pages. I think I've found my I'm going to